Hey everyone, welcome back to uh, day 12. Uh, come join the fun. So continuing with our, our movement theme and tennis lessons now, this will be the second movement video. Uh, moving away from the, the charity video that we did, the 2.6 challenge, which has done amazingly well for NHS charities together. So thank you for that and keep donating where you can and taking part where you can. But back to our, our, our normal tennis lessons now. This one, really, really important. This is the eight step movement pattern. Last lesson, movement number one, that put in all the important basics that you've got to have to be able to move on to this. So hopefully you've been looking at that. If you haven't, go back and take a look before you move on to this eight step pattern. The eight step pattern is hugely important for it on the tennis court. It improves our speed, our efficiency of movement, both going to a ball and recovering from it. So everything that we do today will be based around that. Really looking forward to delivering this. And this is something that is appropriate for people of all standards. Okay, so simple warm up for today. Uh, we're just gonna do one thing and then get into stuff with this today, the eight step pattern. So uh, in the first movement video, the boys uh, were working on a three step pattern where they moved out to their forehand, recovered, and then went out to their backhand side. Now, Danny, can I just take your place one second? I'm not going to use my racket on the first one. We'll bring the racket in after this. It's just a warm up, okay? So I set myself in front of my middle part of my baseline. So I've just put cones out to where the, I want the players to move to and where they recover uh, back to and where they start from. So I'm going to go three steps. One, where I open to the side that I'm moving. Two, as a running stride. Three, to set my open position. Then I'm playing my shot. Then a three step recovery. One is this running stride. Two is setting into more of a, a, a ready position, ready to move in any direction. And as my opponent's striking the ball, I'm splitting and I'm now going the other way. Two, three, playing my shot. One, two, three. Okay, so you should see the boys working in three step patterns. Remember what we spoke about the other day about it being lunges and squat positions. Okay, so boys on you go. We're trying to work it in sets of three. Don't worry if you get it wrong at any time. Just keep going, go through the pattern. If you feel you need to stop and start again, that's absolutely fine. And if you can do this, Danny, can I just take your place again? Good lad. What I could look at is rather than going one, two, three, playing my shot, recovering and stopping and starting again, I might flow from side to side. So one, two, three, recovering and flowing to the other side. Recovering, flowing to the other side. So when I've played my shot, I've got step one, step two, and as I come into what would be three, I'm actually gonna let my foot that's going to my backhand side open out, this one foot split step idea. So watch again, here, recover, and open out, and I'm flowing from side to side. Okay, little progression, last part of the warm up is to just bring the racket back into it. Exactly the same movement exercise from side to side, trying to flow it if they can. Um, but this now gets me feeling what the racket will do as part of these three step patterns going out towards each of the movements. Um, my racket starts in front in its ready position. As I open out, it begins to prepare and it goes back on the second step, the lunge. Okay, and this would be like a running stride where I'm naturally turning my body and it's really easy to take the racket back at that point and it gives me a chance to get early preparation of the racket done as well. Um, so, give the boys a chance to, to try and do that. Off you go, boys. And you can see there's little mistakes going in there. You can see them not landing the third step as an open position things to watch out for make sure your step number one is always the foot going to that side okay um, what i'm going to do now is turn to a different position than we usually use so that i've got a bit more space to spread out in to show you this eight step pattern over a greater amount of space than going sideways uh, in the garden um, this is getting a bit better now i'm moving a little bit better but it still won't be very very quick but actually at the moment it's quite appropriate to practice it quite slowly. So the eight step pattern, okay, it's got um, four steps to your forehand side 
and four steps to your backhand side. The names of the movements, we're going to call them a mogul step, a power step, a hop step and a drop step. And for this eight step movement pattern, what I'm going to do is use each of those movements with a three step pattern moving in towards it. Obviously, if you're in a tennis match, the number of steps depends completely upon the ball that you receive. So always the answer to every question in tennis is it depends. Well, for this movement, it depends on the ball you receive for the number of steps that you'd have to take. But we're going to use it in three. So you've got this sort of base to work from. So. I'm going to go right the way through it um, and bear with us as we're filming it so it might be a bit shaky we're not on the tripod now um, the camera will look at my feet a little bit more so it'll make sure that my feet are in it so that you can see what we're doing but if you can it's also important that you see where my racket's preparing and when it prepares so i'll be moving in three steps and i'll be preparing the racket on steps two hopefully of each of the patterns so i'll talk you through it as i'm doing it so i'm in my ready position to begin with so I'm going to go very slowly to start with. I've got my opening step, that's step one. Racket prepares on step two, and I load on step three in a squat position. I'm going into the mogul step here, which is like a side step. So as I hit, I'm going to get my feet to side step. I'm then going to cross over, come into a second step recovery, and come back to the middle. We'll do that to the backhand side, so I go open, Step two, prepared and step three, side step movement, crossover, coming back towards the middle. I'm going to flow on step one, to so a second step prepared, third step loading, and now I'm on the power step, a jumping step, where I jump past the shot, cross, recover, flow to the backhand side, step two, step three, and I'm jumping through this shot crossing over, recovering. Now I'm just going to stop here. That's the sideways stuff done. That's the mogul and the power step. Now I've got some forwards and backwards movements to do. So on my hop step, I'm going to go in and on my drop step, I'm going to go back. So the hop step, something you'll have all used a lot. I open out. Now this is kind of a four step pattern. So I open to that side, then I'm going one, two, three, loading here, hopping and hitting as I play the shot, recover, back. Now I'm going to stop so you can see the drop step. So now I drop my left foot back towards my backhand side, cross over and set on step three and defend, recovering back in and stopping. Now I'll do these ones a bit quicker. So the backhand side, I open, one, two, three, hop and hit cross and recover, drop step, so I've flowed into that, second step, third step, defend and come back up. Okay, so that's the eight step pattern, go away and give it a try, that's broke it down for you a little bit. Um, lucky now to be able to put a few clips on for you of people that I've worked with over the years. Um, there's four different players, so David Quayle, who's now playing professionally, um, training out of the Moritoglu Academy in the south of France. Um, two guys who are now uh, professional tennis coaches, so Matt Chadwick and Joe Sylvester. And then the clip of a young kid that you'll see, he's not that young anymore now, he's an under 14, that's Sam Chadwick, and he's a Lancashire County player playing tournaments all over the country. Uh, the clips are fantastic for you to watch, maybe slow them down a little bit just to see how they piece their footwork together, but give them a good go. Okay, go. Good, recover, good, squat, and another squat, so like a split step, good, backhand side, good, cross over, squat and squat, good, power step, now the big jump and hit, excellent, cross over, Good, good, and another one, good. Now the power step, uh, uh, to come back again, don't worry. Don't have the racket wrapped around up here, have the racket taken back normally. So first step, good, better, third step, and the big jump. 
Good. Cross over. Yeah. Keep your balance. Good. Do you want to try the hops and drops? Yeah? So hop step forehand. So right foot first. Good. One, two, three. Hop and hit. Pretty good. Cross over with your left foot. Good. Another stride. And then you split step. Good. Drop step to your back hand. So drop the right foot back. Good boy. Second step. Third step. Get your balance. And a back hand facing into me. Good. Back up. So step and split. Left, right, left. So left foot. Yeah. One, two, three. Hop and hit. Don't spin around. Good. That foot crosses over. Good. Another big step. And then into your split step. Good lad. And the last one is drop stepping on your forehand. So left foot goes. Good. Second step. Third step. Careful of the wall. Hop and hit. Good. Up you come. When you're ready. Same here. Make sure that turns into me now. Okay, so you've seen the, the, the videos of the other guys doing it, which are brilliant versions at different standards. Uh, three progressions now for you that you could try when you've had a good look and a good go at shadowing it through yourself. You could try it with the balls. So uh, I'm going to try and throw appropriate feeds for Kean to go through the mogul, the power, the hop and the drop steps. Don't worry if you get your throw wrong. Don't worry if they get their footwork wrong. It's going to go wrong at different times. That's what you're practicing it for. Um, we'll just go through the full sequence. Whether we get it right or wrong, we'll keep going. Okay, so this is with balls. So I throw wider. I throw wide to his backhand. I go even wider. Good lap even wider and he's coming up for a hop step 
dropping back on his backhand drop step, top step on his backhand, and drop step on his forehand. Another way of getting yourself to practice the eight step pattern might be to use just a, a ball to throw when you're doing the, the footwork pattern. Uh, we're using a football, you could use a basketball, you could use a tennis ball. Um, kids that are a bit more developed with their tennis or maybe a little bit older than Danny uh, might use a medicine ball to just add a little bit of weight, a bit of resistance as they're doing it um, and that just puts a little bit more strain or effort into the lunge and the squat positions that they do and really reinforces the patterns. But we'll see how Danny does with the eight steps. Again, we'll just keep going whether it's right or wrong. So, wide. Good, and throws it back. Good, he goes wide to his backhand. Good, throws it back even wider. Good, so he's now beginning to stretch the steps that he's doing in three. Brilliant, good. Throws, hop step, so he comes up, hop, and throw, brilliant, drop steps back, good, well done, hop steps on the backhand, so right foot in, hop in, throw, good boy, and drop all the way back, and throw, good, you can start to bring little tactical bits into this now, so um, you can see on the drop step, he's probably thrown a little bit higher because he's further back, on the hop step, he's been able to go a bit faster with his throw, a bit lower over the net, and then you've got your, your standard shots on the wider balls, but that's a really good way of practicing it. And a final one is to use some real strong resistance training. So some of you at the club will have used this with me where you've used the belt and the big orange elastics. Uh, you'll see a video with Joe where um, he's using, he's on the elastics with me. Um, so that's a good example to watch back if you've not watched it already. Um, different version we can use though. Danny's now got a Dynaband just around him. So a standard green Dynaband here that I'm going to keep quite strong, the, the, the resistance that I'm giving him. And he's going to try and go through the three step patterns. Now, I think what we'll do is we'll just do one wide one to the forehand, one wide one to the backhand, and then we'll go hop and drop off and drop so it'll be a six step pattern you can turn it into the eight if you want so here we go down here get the band nice and tight he's going to work against this good one two three plays his shot good crossover one two recover good now he goes left foot one two three does that crosses over recovers now you do that again for a power step version so we've not really gone through moguls and powers too much just set the third open position. He now goes to uh, his hop step. One, two, three. Now hop and hit. Good boy. Cross over. Crosses over. Recovers. Drop steps to the backhand. Oh, come back. Come back. In the first step, step one. Right foot crosses over. Two, three. Then he plays his defensive backhand. Recovers back up again. And he's battling against this all the time. Now he's got the hop step on the backhand, so left foot opens first. And then he goes right, left, right. And he's gonna hop and hold, cross over. So he crosses over, recovers. Now he's gonna drop step back to the backhand, go. Second step, that's good. Third step, loads. And he defends with that final shot and then recovers back up again. So boys have literally tried this eight step pattern stuff today for the first time, okay? Um, in the same way you guys might be as well. So it's always a good way of showing it to you. So that's the eight step pattern done. It, it sounds really complicated, but when you get used to using this, those of you that have used it, realize how much it simplifies your movement on a court and really, really helps your tennis game. Uh, huge, huge thanks to the four guys that have let me use their videos. So uh, Dave, uh, Matt, Sam and Joe, brilliant, thank you very much for letting me use the videos, I'm sure people will really benefit from it. Um, look at the one I did, look at the different stages we've built through in terms of getting up to your eight step pattern, um, but go away, really, really try it, and if somebody can film you doing it and you want to send me your clip, I will send you back some feedback um, as to where you could make little improvements on it and where you've done really well and stuff like that so i uh, hope you enjoy that it's a really important part of, of the work that i want you to try to do whilst we're still in lockdown but um, have a go at it take care and we'll see you soon with another movement exercise